In this Resolve 15 Fusion video, I'm going to show you how you could set up a text plus follower to be so you can have more precise control over the timing of the individual characters. If you don't know what a um, follower in the text plus node is, it allows you to do an animation on the characters, but it will uh, work on them at one at a time. So instead of having the entire say uh, word here resolve move from the center to the left. If you set up a follower in the text plus node, then it will start off with the first character and each character will then move a set amount of time after a set number of frames. And you set that up by basically going into the text plus node in the style text box, right clicking and choosing follower. And once that happens, uh, it opens the modifiers tab here. And then under follow follower, you have different parameters you can change. But the first one here is the timing and allows you to change the range of characters you want to animate. Uh, if you want to go from left to right or right to left or inside out. Uh, the delay type, say between each character or the entire amount of time for the entire word. And you set the delay down here. So a lot of times you set it to maybe five or 10 frames so that every five or 10 frames another letter will start animating over and it'll start doing whatever you set up the animation be. But one of the choices here under order is manual curve. So if you set that up as manual curve, you have a lot more control and you can precisely say what frame number you want each character to start its animation. So you don't have to have them each be precisely say five frames apart. You could have first and second be five. You have the third one come in 40 frames later. You have the last one be 200 frames later, whatever you want set. So I can't show you an example here. I already have it set up on this node here. So we'll start at the beginning and you'll see the difference between the two. So when I hit play, see each one of these is exactly five frames, but each one of these gets longer and longer delayed until the last letter actually didn't even start moving to the 120th frame. And that way you can have precise control over when the different characters will start their animation. So that's just, it gives you a little more control, uh, makes it a little bit more powerful with how you can customize it. So I will show you how to set this up. So I'll start by adding a new text plus node. And I'll put that into first viewer here. And I'll get rid of this second one here so we don't need to see that. So I'll add some text into the same text, resolve. Make it a little larger so it's a little easier to see. And I'll zoom in on a little bit. Okay, so now to set up the follower, right click in the box here to style text choose follower and then that activates the modifiers tab here so here's all the different settings so actually let me back this out a little bit so I can so we're going to be modifying it so that it uh, animates and uh, moves to the left so first we want to set the timing so we're going to set that to instead of left to right come down to manual curve and I'll show you how to set this all up and we'll go to the shading tab and this is actually where the position is set up here to offset so that's what we're going to animate so we'll make sure this is at the beginning frame zero set the animation and then we'll move to about 120 and we'll come down here and we'll move the position to the left so you can see it moving here so I'll move it about negative one to the left or so So now let's move to the left. So now if we come back up, go over here to the timing, now we could set up the individual characters. So we'll move it back to the beginning, and now we could set up the individual characters and choose at what point in the timeline they'll start to animate and move over to the left. And you basically do that, let me zoom in here again so you can get a better look at it here, by highlighting and uh, selecting each letter individually. You do that by doing a box select. So just left click and hold down and create a box around the character. And once you see these green brackets around it, that one's selected. Then you come over here to the follower and you basically set what frame you want it to start its uh, animation to the left. So for this first one, we'll start it right at the beginning. So you first set it up down here where it says delay value and then you make sure that the animation is set up for the delay by character position. 
So you click on the diamond here, set up the animation, and then you enter your value in the delay value, and then when you hit set first selected character delay, for whatever character you have highlighted, that's the frame it'll start the animation. So for the first one, I want it to start at frame zero, and it'll start moving over. So I hit here, and that sets up that character. So then you just go keep it set at zero at the beginning of your sequence here, and you just go along and highlight each one, and set what, again, what frame you want it to start its animation. So we start this next one, highlight it, set it to 10, and then again, hit the set first selected character delay. Now that sets the E, we'll start animating over at 10, and then we can increase each one. So I set up this one, so I can change, that was 10 between the first two, so I can set this one up to another 15, so it sets it up to 25, and then hit set first character, and then I'll set up the S, so at the 25th frame, it'll start. So it'll be zero, and then 10 for the E, and now 25 for the S. So now I can set this one up for say 40, 40th frame, and hit again the set first selected character delay, and do that for each character. Make sure it's highlighted. I'll set this one to say 60. Do the V. That's the 85. And then do the last character. And we'll do that, let's say, like 110. And you can actually see the keyframes coming up here to show that all seven characters have been set up. So now if I set this back to fit for the viewer and hit play, you see that each letter is being animated, but each one is being animated at a later time. And then the E actually started going over at 110. And then we could do that again and stop here when it gets close to it. So we can move it back here a little bit. So we're at 105. So as we move along, it's still not moving yet, but 108, 109, and then 110, and now it starts moving. So we set that up that last letter, but each you could get precise timing when you want each, again, each individual character to start animating to whatever you're doing. If you're having it move, if you're having the different individual characters rotate, change color, any of the different parameters you could do with a normal follower, which are all here. Again, you could change the color, the appearance, opacity, thickness. You could anything that's animatable, animatable here, you could change with a follower and you could set up with the timing and again have precise frames down to frame 82 you could have one be going along and start its animation just gives you a little more control over the again the timing of your animation so hopefully you found this video useful uh, I, it just took me a little while to actually figure this out because it's not I didn't see it in the manual just a mention of it, but not actually how to implement it. So it actually took me a little bit of time to figure out actually how to get it, a little trial and error. But it does seem to be very handy and gives you, again, more control over the animation of your follower. So I hope you found this video useful, and I do thank you for watching.